In this video, we're gonna talk about the new Peter McKinnon camera tool, its construction, how to use it, and I'm gonna compare it with its closest competitor, which is the small rig multi-tool too. All right, here we go. First off, what do you get in the box when you purchase this $100 camera tool is, this is the box, really cool. You can see Peter's signature right over there. The instructions or the contents of the tools will be in the back portion of the top cover. Also with it is a little camera tool pouch. It is of tougher vinyl canvas make. Stitching looks fairly sturdy. Uh, you have a little rubber zipper handle there. You can see if you don't see it right now, but you have the little fly to flag emblem there as well. And this pouch will contain your camera tool, which will go in detail a little bit shortly. In the back of your case, of your camera tool case, it's a little slot where you have the bay for all your multiple heads. It's a little rubber casing that will have eight heads in total. The function of the multi-tool or the design of the camera tool that Peter McKinnon built is you can pick uh, four of your most used heads and just preload them in the tool and then you can switch them if you need other sized heads in the future. Inside the case, there's this little fuzzy thing. I am I'm not sure why it needed to be felt, but I assume so that it won't scratch the polished black metal as well. But I do have a pet, so this does attract fur, which is the drawback with this particular case. Going to the tool itself, the thing that makes this unique, instead of the traditional pulling out the tools with your fingernails, it has this central switch button. When you push it left, all the tools in the left will pop out. And the same thing on the right. When you push it right, all the tools in the right will pop out. There's two preloaded tools. You have a dedicated Phillips screwdriver here and a dedicated, he calls this a tripod mount, but I call it a larger flathead screwhead driver. As for the tool itself, and you can watch this in his video, how he thought about the centric driving position is that usually when you have multi-tools, it's just fanned out. So it might not be in the center position. You might not have that torque or that pivot, that fulcrum, uh, whenever you're using your tool. He wanted to make sure that whatever tool that you pulled out, you can put it in its middle position and every single tool when it's fully out in its upright position will be in the middle of the handle. When you get the tool, the inline hex bit storage function is empty. So it's up to you to pick which tool you want as a pop, like preloaded like that. And then one within kind of like the storage bay itself so that you can just easily switch these two out whenever you're out in the field. This is done by magnets. You hear a very satisfying click whenever you plug in your tool. However, as you can already see in this particular demonstration, the inline hex tool might not attach the most because I can easily pop the one in the middle storage and it drops quite like that. So be very careful not to lose any of your extra head. And yes, you can close the entire tool with the inline hex bit storage tools filled out. See? So most of the time what you will be using will be the Allen wrenches. So I have here myself the four millimeter and the three millimeter preloaded in the tool. Things that I tighten or loosen the most will be the tripod base, the Arca Swiss plates that I attach to the camera. Um, the other will be uh, in, in tripod legs. So I have here the Peak Design aluminum tripod, but the thing here is the tripod already has like a built-in Allen wrench. So maybe if you lose this, you can use this in case of emergency, or you don't have to bring your Allen wrenches for your Peak Design tripod. My second shaft will be preloaded with Phillips screw head drivers. Just in general, there's always going to be something that you need to spy. Let's test out actually how it feels whenever you're tightening or loosening something with the said tool. Ergonomically, the big handle kind of does help. You have better torque or better grip whenever you're opening or tightening certain things. The centric drive position of the gear makes it so that whenever you're tightening or loosening your Allen wrench or your Phillips screw head driver or screw, the tool doesn't bend, it doesn't fold. That's something that I've noticed with other tools. Whenever you're turning, it might just like boop, pop back out. So this, because it's 
right smack in the middle and it locks into place whenever you're turning, the chances of you folding the tool is lesser. So that's a really good design in terms of ergonomics. I do feel it's quite a bit long, quite a bit tall. So I would have shaved some height in the tool, make it a little bit smaller. When we compare it with the other tool, you'll see quite a big difference in terms of size. I'm liking the tool so far, but how does it stack up to its main competitor? So straight off the bat, comparing the small rig multi-tool and the Peter McKinnon tool, there's just a huge difference between the two. So if you're looking for portability, it is not only shorter, but it's also way thinner. As you can see, if you can stack it, on top of each other. The small rig multi-tool is almost half the size. Weight-wise, uh, the Peter McKinnon camera tool is a little bit heavier. For the number of tools, the small rig one, this one that I have that is only $21, has seven preloaded tools. And the Peter McKinnon tool only has like a preloaded six, but it doesn't have the same ergonomics, the same style, same feel. The one thing that I do really like about the small rig camera multi-tool is because you're gonna use this with a lot of the camera rigs where a lot of screws and knobs are being used. There's holes where you can preload the screws that you possibly take out so that you won't lose them. And of course, the Peter McKinnon camera tool does not. Even the case itself, the case of the small rig one is a you know, pleather, but that makes it a little bit more waterproof. It is hard pleather rubberized, but the size difference is quite a lot. If you're looking at portability if you're of shorter stature wearing tighter pants it's a little bit tougher to bring around the peter mckinnon multi-tool so now we've talked about the general the functionality of the tool itself how many heads it could store how to use them ergonomics feel size we kind of see that so far in terms of size portability and definitely price the competitor might be a little bit better than the peter mckinnon tool so why would you get a peter mckinnon camera tool that is five times more expensive than the competitor. One is the care. So the, the attention to detail, the look and feel, this just looks premium. If you pull out a tool like this, whenever you're in a shoot or just in a day-to-day -day scenario where you need a Phillips head screwdriver, this looks really cool. And that's saying something in terms of multi-tools in general. A secret component of the tool here is on the side, there is a place where you can store an extra memory card. So if you're out in the shoot and you forgot to load your camera, your memory card breaks, have your tool around, you might actually be able to save the day by pulling out your spare SD card here or the micro SD card with its adapter here. So I really, really love Otasha. So this tool is really built for photographers and videographers in mind. If you're a mechanic, you're not gonna use this tool. You're gonna have a better tool set here. So those are the, the small touches that makes this tool extremely desirable. Things that I would want for the version two, if it comes out, is one, make it a lot cheaper. That would be my number, number one priority. Number two is it's the size. It is chunky. It's quite big. And, and if you're wearing tighter pants, you will feel it. It is snug and secure, which is great. It's not gonna pop out your pocket, but still, it might get uncomfortable if you have this in your pocket for an extended amount of time. So there is some opportunities to shave down the width of it. As you can see, the width, there is some spaces that I feel could have been trimmed a little bit more, and even the length. This is a long tool, right? So maybe a couple of more millimeters down on either side would help that. I do like the idea of the memory card holder, the spare card holder, because that can come in clutch whenever an emergency happens. But there is also lots of spaces, maybe another slot for a micro SD. So you have like a regular SD card and a micro SD card. So that might, that might be cool. I do like the shiny black metal. Perhaps there is a more gun metal, more non-gloss look, more matte look that we could get. Or conversely, there might be a glossier version for those ones that might want to personalize their camera tool. These are all things that I hope that comes in the second version. In conclusion, the Peter McKinnon camera tool will be for hobbyist photographers, professional photographers and videographers that wants to look and feel a little bit cooler than normal. If you're just looking for cheap, simple functionality, there are options out there that are way cheaper, that are sometimes even a little bit more functional with the Peter McKinnon camera tool. If you're like me, who you know like his stuff, 
look and feel good for myself. No, I really do like making sure that my equipment is of the one same look. I like the black, I like the skull. So if you have $100 to burn and you need a camera tool, get a Peter McKinnon one. But if you don't, if you don't care about brands, you just need a couple of Allen wrenches for your tripod plate and for your tripod joints, just get a regular old small rig one. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped. And if it did, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button, commenting, and then hitting that notification bell so you know when when my other videos are dropping. I mostly do a lot of live performance video of the burlesque and live band kind. So if you like those things, hopefully you'll come back and share this channel with your friends. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.